Hello fellow dungeon explorers. The new event started today and I just wanted to showcase my build that I used in order to get 1.6 million points and achieve it with an S plus ranking. Let's hop in. Hopefully this run helps you receive get the S plus ranking too for very hard. Let's see what's at the end of Mount Nabal. All right, guys, so this is the build that we're going to be using for the second, uh, for my third attempt to run here. Um, uh, first run was terrible. It was the recommended party, and they died pretty quickly. Uh, second one did pretty well. I forgot to use items near the end of my battle, uh, so I got wiped. So here we are, attempt number three. I hope you guys enjoy this fight. I'll switch a quick switch over the toggle here so you can see what I have. Uh, Aerith is my healer, uh, Tifa is my debuffer, and Sephiroth is my just main damage outputter. Let's do it. So I do believe he is immune to... Yeah. Oh no, he's not me too, so you can magic attack down him. Definitely do that when you're fighting him. Otherwise, this move may hurt a lot. Cool. And then Aerith will do a single cure focus. Yes, a very good heal. I'm right back up to cap. And now we should be able to clear him out with Sephiroth's magic attack. Good job, Sephiroth. Okay, and let's just quickly look at the clear time. 40 seconds. That's really good. Probably would have dropped quite a bit of points at 41 seconds. It's weird like that. Okay, first fight down. And I am going to go Ice Potency. Okay, grab this. At this point, though, this run, I am going to be a little bit more safe. Okay, um, I've been pretty reckless the last two, and I have died. So I'm not going to do any score boosts for the first run. That's what I recommend you do as well. Make sure you complete it first so you can get your S, or maybe if you're lucky, your S plus ranking. And then from there, move on and try to repeat it with you know getting the score boost and stuff and as you fine tune your party i'm going to select the main, the main baddie here just right off the bat because he's going to want to do strong hits and i don't want him to uh to do strong hits i'm going to use my lb even though it's on the mobs but that's okay it will recharge very quickly so let's just use it to take the baddies out here and that way we can keep some hp up you know because we are poisoned Ooh. So hopefully Aerith will do a heal uh, right off the bat on the next boss. Oh, didn't look at the stats. That's okay. You guys have, saw how fast that was. Okay. I'm looking forward to uh, to weapons being released that have more all slots. So currently we have just the all heal slot from Aerith's uh, Snowflake staff. But I would love to see like an all in Suna. I think that would be really OP. Also, a fun thing about the poison is it doesn't kill you. What it does do is it brings you down to 1 HP and then the enemy has to do another physical attack or magic attack in order to take you over the threshold. The poison will not knock you out. I'm gonna take out the mobs here. Why not? Okay, and then we can focus on the main baddie. Okay, we're gonna get some of his modes down. All right, I'm just gonna use my, here we go, right at the cancellation for that attack. Okay, you'll notice it didn't do any of the of the loss. So it didn't bring magic attack down. Okay, and basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait this out. I'm gonna wait till he does his meltdown, because that is pretty much when I will be able to use Tifa's next ability. Or next LB. Come back. Please me. Alright, I don't even use the, need to use the LBs, guys. Just attack, attack, attack. Oh, don't make me have to use my LB. Ah, it's going to make me use my LB. Okay. Oh, let's switch over to attack. Oh, oh, did I do it? I heard the noise. I heard the noise. Uh, that was my bad. I should have used my LB. It's okay. It's okay. Aerith will be able to self-heal right now. There we go. HP back up to full. There we go. Able to take him out. So I, I didn't use Sephiroth's LB, so that's great. Can use it for the next baddie. Which is great because it's AoE, and I think the next one that we're going to be doing is the Twins. Yeah. I could have gotten better time though, you know, and time is points in this. Okay, and then here it's going to give me options, and I'm actually going to go with Magic Defense. That's definitely one that you could probably have done the score increase, I think. I'll be trying it with the score increase next time, once I get my first run in, yeah.
Okay, and I want Aerith to do her, her ice rod on him. There we go. And because I wanted that the magic attack down. Oh, I didn't end up using it. There you go. And no, let's get a healing. Why not? I'm going to take the headset off. Ooh. Oops. Good amount of damage. Full heal. Fantastic. With regen. See, there's the magic down. So it didn't hit last time. Okay, guys, just focus on attack. Sephiroth. There you go, Sephiroth. That's what I was waiting for, buddy. Didn't even have to do the mobs. But if you do, do like clear the mobs, I suppose it gives you more points. But you have, to, you have to figure out points for killing or points for time. That is the benefit. And I'm not willing to go through the, the head benefit analysis right now. Maybe in another video. So please do sub, subscribe, and hit that bell. And hopefully you'll see that one in the future. Okay, good. All right, and then let's hit uh, Earth Healing Potency. Actually, you know what? My heals are insane. My heals are nuts i do not need that like that will not benefit me at all but the fire resist might and i don't think i have any more water guys to worry about it or lightning guys to worry about but fire i know the last boss is fire well actually i, I don't know if it's the extra hard boss is fire we'll see okay grab that item so you'll notice our i'll be going down here and you'll notice what happens a big boulder wah, wah. So that's the second block that you have on this map. So you can go up and you can uh, go right for the boss. This is where I got wiped before, so I'm going to make sure that I heal up my guys. Uh, up at least you know, where Earth is halfway through. So I'm going to increase my cap, and then I'm going to try to... Do I have one to increase? I don't. What? Guys, there's only one more fight after this. Let's use it. So we'll increase Tifa's P attack. Will increase Eris, or sorry, Sephiroth's magic attack. That should do some massive amounts of damage. We do have a summon gauge fill. I will save this. Um, ATB don't need to really increase it. Uh, I mean, you know what? We could get a heal in, right? So if we do another ATB here of that, oh, you know what? Maybe seven. Let's do Eris heal right off the bat, guys, and that will make sure that I survive any of the attacks that I did do right off the bat. Any AOE ones, right? Because that should heal me all the way, so I didn't have to use any of my high potions or my regular potions. Okay, so we're going to switch to Aerith. Going to go into defense mode and heal. So switch to Aerith, go into defense mode, and... Oh, she did that one. That works for me. She did it. Oops. Didn't mean to change stances. There we go. Heal again. There we go. Everybody's capped. So we should survive. Yes! By the skin of our teeth. Okay, let's get another heal in here, Aerith. You can do it auto. Come on, auto it. Yes. Right, select that one. Make sure we decrease him. Synchronomy. Is, is that his move that he's about to do? Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, we have the ability to take down the sigils. So maybe we do that this time. Okay, and he died too. Okay, great. Okay, can I get a heal in here? Do I need a heal? Or are we going to do a sigil? I need a heal. Get everybody's HP back up. Go back to attack. And then Sigil. Well, I don't have I can't do Sigil. I see. I see, said the blind man. Good thing that Sephiroth was able to take him up. Because that he was circular sigil, and Aerith did not have circular sigil. Aerith, uh, I think, has the option of having it in slot, which would mean maybe we would do that for the next build. Okay, so that's it. We completed all five of the baddies. Now. Physical defense increase, lightning resist. Ooh, ooh. interesting. I'm going to go physical defense because we already increased our magical defense and hopefully the physical defense is what we need now to go forward. Can I break these rocks? Yes. Do it, Tifa. Hell yeah. This old fury. All right. I wonder if we fight any of the small baddies. Could really use a heal or at least to, to uh, get my LBs up. But I think I'm going to use a, a cabin right before the end. That will increase everything that I have. I'll use a P attack and a magic attack increase as well. Oh, there is a battle. There you go. Hopefully this guy doesn't like me. Ha, huh, wouldn't that be funny? Make sure I focus on this guy. I'm actually going to use some abilities. Because I... I'm going to use a cabin. It's all going to refill anyway. But if I take him out and he doesn't kill me, I think at this stage, that's probably my better option. Perfect. Everybody down. Excellent. And what did he drop? An ether. Right on. And, and some high potions. Okay, cool. Oh, wait. 
No, let's take a look at our map. Which way do we need to go now? Okay, so we got to go up and then to the right. And by to the right, I believe it means this way. Oh, there it is. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, nice. Some synthesis crystals. Okay, so what do we got? We got 214,000. Okay, that's what we expected. We're going to go items. Right off the bat, we're just going to use this. That's going to refill all of our HP. Uh, oh, okay. What, what about elixirs? Okay, elixir will do full, heal, full everything. But do I need it? I don't think I do. I think I just need to heal all my guys. I think I need to put on my attack stuff, my magic attack stuff. And actually for uh, Sephiroth, I'm actually going to put the P attack on him as well. And the reason why is because then a summon does way more damage. Okay, and then summon gauge, I am going to increase uh, Sephiroth's right to the top. And you know what, let's, let's use some ATP regen here. Maybe we can get some downs, you know what I mean? Okay, and that's good. That's way more item usage that I'm used to for these fights, but this is like, again, I, as I said, our first fight, right? Uh, speaking of which, actually, let's use another magic attack. We have one. Let's use Onerith. Why not? Let's get through this battle. Yes. Who is it? Guys, let's hope it's not a wipe. It's Ifrit. Right on. Okay, so right away, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to... See, I waited a little bit just to get that bar in there, right? Because that when, when that goes down, he gets very acceptable to ice attacks. There you go. Mobs are down. Ifrit is down. Okay. Now, do I want to lower any of his stuff? We'll see. We'll see what the auto does. Okay. It was a really good call to uh, make sure my HP was full. I probably didn't even need it, honestly. He's going to do get a Giga Strength. Does that mean he's going to get something? So we're going to actually kick it in here. I think he did summon too. Charge. So he, ice is down. So I'm just trying to I'm just trying to go do ice damage here. So fire uh, material is pointless. Okay. So keep that in mind. We will not need fire materia in this run. All right. That was solid. Yeah. We get one more in. Oh, not too bad. Looks like we got this, guys. I really didn't even need um, the cottage. I don't think. Yeah, you know what? Just focus on attack. Just focus on attack. I'm just going to take you off auto and just damage. There we go, guys. Completed. Let's see what our score ranking is. So we beat you for it in one minute and three seconds. You know, that was a pretty easy battle. Maybe just my team is, uh, is in a good state. I had more difficulty with the prior battles. That tends to actually be a trend. So don't be scared about doing the higher, de higher end boss. Because for some reason, the gatekeepers are much stronger. Cleared. That's plus, guys. We completed it fully. 1,613,000. Not bad. And look at all those crystals. Mm -mm, delicious. This is why you, when you are doing these dungeon events, make sure you focus on getting the S rank. You don't have to get really high in the actual rankings themselves. The benefit is the crystals and the S rank. Because when you get an S rank level, you get 500 crystals. So you don't want to miss out on those. So that's what you should be pushing for. Don't worry about rankings. Like, I would be happy just completing the other two at basic level, because you do get stuff from that as well. And just leaving it as is. I like to be, like, within the top 100 these days. I'm not really focused on being the top 10. But some people are. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully that last build uh, gave you a little bit of hope that you can complete it. And seeing those battles in action, hopefully it gives you some insights into what sigils to equip, what material to equip, and which characters to use. I hope you guys have a good day, and take care of yourselves, adventurers. Bye-bye.